Hello there. I think at this uh, time uh, it's uh, very important to talk about a topic that's uh, going about just now, which is avian influenza. Uh, I don't know if you realise or not, but the whole of Europe just now is on lockdown uh, because of uh, high and low pathogen avian influenza. Uh, influenza. Both of these um, diseases are notifiable to the ministry and uh, the high pathogen particularly is uh, basically you're, you're culling your birds to get rid of it. Um, in 2020 there's probably been a couple of million birds in the whole of the UK and Ireland and Northern Ireland being culled uh, in different types of poultry flocks. Um, what you're, what you're looking at is something that is uh, can have high mortality, quick deaths, you know, affects production and performance. And I honestly believe this year, with so many bird losses with racing, that this more than likely it's been down to behind the scenes AI. When you, when you see so many birds just not coming home from races at all and never been seen again, you know, when, when you've got a bird that doesn't look too too well and you, you think, I'm not putting that to the race, every other bird you put to that race has got the same things going on inside of it. It's got the same good and bad bacteria going on inside of it. And again, under stress, things multiply. And when they multiply, the bird's disorientated, the traps are open, the bird's not coming home. It doesn't know where it is. It's, it's got issues going on inside it. And I think every year for the last 20 years working with homeopathy we've always done about an average of three different products that we've worked with people with issues health issues to try get them sorted out and this year alone we've probably done 16 different homeopathic products working with people and 11 of them have been in pigeons and what we've seen is and I'm sure most of you can testify to this that there's been so many birds with really wet droppings and weird and wonderful colours and that that just you've never seen before and I say this all ties into behind the scenes something going on that's underlining and when you see what's happening over Europe and the lockdown with with the avian influenza it's it's something that's going to be here for, I sadly say, a long time to come. It's in the wild birds. People are finding dead swans uh, and they're testing positive for AI, high pathogen and low pathogen. I'm just fortunate that in, in the last few weeks, we've managed to work with some top vets, some private companies, commercial companies and individuals. And we've now come up with uh, BM348+, plus, which is our product for avian influenza um, what that's containing is high pathogen AI, low pathogen AI and avian tuberculosis. What I didn't realise until recently was that um, a lot of the vets think that avian tuberculosis is in a lot of things respiratory related behind the scenes but it's, it's never really tested for. So you know it was a wee bit concerning to hear that but we've managed to they bring a product out here that uh, the feedback so far we're more than pleased with. Uh, we've now got to probably about two, over two million uh, commercial poultry on it. And uh, a lot of pigeon fanciers now have, have come on board as well. And we're looking at uh, 15 months uh, in a bottle as a preventative. But um, I say it's, it's, it's sad to see this happening. I say it's, it's it's just so rife over Europe and the UK just now, but um, hopefully we can we can get on top of this the same as we're dealing with this virus with ourselves with coronavirus. You know, it's there's so many things out there and it affects every animal and bird differently. The same as you know ourselves as humans are affected with this virus just now. But say being able to work with people and get to the stage we are, it, it's been it's been very rewarding. And uh, if you have any questions on this. Give me a call, drop me a line. Uh, if you leave a message, I'll always call you back. Um, the people that sort of say to me, I've been trying to hold you for weeks calling them. I'm, I'm busy and that's great, but uh, I'll let you into a little secret. I'm not psychic. I, if you don't leave a message, I can't call you back, you know? But um, they say, any issues at all, give us a call and we'll, we'll do our best to, to keep you right.